from solar energy to electricity. Energy travels from the sun as particles of light called photons. Photons are packets or envelopes of energy. Different photons have different energies. Most photons from the sun have energies that fall within the visible light spectrum, but we cannot see photons with energies in the infrared or ultraviolet zones. When a photon hits a solar panel, what happens depends on the energy of the photon. Most solar panels are made of silicon and other elements. This is a silicon atom inside a solar panel. Atoms have a nucleus made of protons and neutrons surrounded by electrons. When an electron is hit by a photon with sufficient energy, it absorbs the energy from the photon and breaks free from the atom. It is then a free electron. The flow of free electrons is electricity. Different types of materials require different amounts of energy to free electrons. An insulator requires a really large amount of energy, a semiconductor requires a medium amount of energy, and a conductor requires minimal or no energy to free electrons. Imagine that you are an electron. To become free, there is a wall you need to get over. In a conductor, the wall is very short and you would easily jump over. In a semiconductor, the wall is higher and you cannot just jump over it. You would need a pogo stick to bounce yourself over. In an insulator, the wall is very high and you would need a giant trampoline to bounce yourself over. Solar panels are made of semiconducting elements and require photons with a medium amount of energy to free electrons. Currently, solar panels cannot use all photons that are emitted from the sun, but they can use many of them. Scientists are looking for materials that can use more available photons, creating more electricity. Check out our other videos about electricity, heat, and fuel.